Good morning. Thanks for coming to the lectures, and thank you for tuning to the, on the website to listen to this morning what I have to say. I this morning I'd like to speak about called the the topic in the Taoist philosophy we call Qing Xin Gua Yu Sun Qi Zi Ran. Pure your heart to stillness, desireless, and then will return to simplicity. Follow the nature. Follow nature. Tao Te Ching in chapter chapter six is saying this: the valley spirits never die. It's like what、well, the is the woman is a prime mother. Her gateway is the root. Of heaven and earth, you is is like veil of very seen. Music will never fail. Sounds very interesting translation, but in my opinion, that translation only got fifty percent of it.、Um, valley spirit in the original speaking is say the spirits of all accents is not the valley spirit. Okay, and spirits of very spirits of all accents, which means it's called the spirits of all the ancestors, your lineage spirit. Okay, never die.、Um, it's like what、well, is the translation? You say is the mother is the prime gateway.、Uh, that is not correct either. 是为原宅原次 in Chinese mean. So say that this the spirit is the what the gateway of all the original spirits, all the original energy. Okay, the gateway, and and it is this the gateway that is the root of heaven and earth. Okay, heaven and earth. Root of heaven and earth, heaven and earth, the root of heaven and earth. So this spirit of all accents is referring to your ancestor spirit, refer to your ancestors' accents, which is ancestor spirit. It's up to the heaven or it's up to the earth. If the spirit. Typical speaking, to spirits associated to living the human's brain, then we call it heaven. If it's spirits associated to human's energy center, Dantian, we call it the earth. Okay, so this gateway,、uh, it is the her gateway, is the root of heaven and earth. Well, where is it? What is the gateway?、Um, gateway, it is your ancestors' gateway. I see the gateway when humans come and go. In the Tao Te Ching, we refer to、uh, the gateway in between both eyeball. That's where humans、uh, leave and they journeys end. You can see people leave on this gateway, right? And the gateway when human life coming, it's come from the what? The belly bottom, <laughs> the earth. Ah,、uh, it's funny, huh? Come and go,、uh, come and go. Gateway is the heaven and earth's root, a root of heaven and earth. Heaven and earth, in the translations, also say,、uh, the this heaven and earth also refers to our past or future or future or past, depend how you're gonna look at it. Okay, ah,、uh, <coughs> is your past is is your past or is your future? Okay, we in our Taoism, we teaching our goal of living. The goal of in this planet is is finding a way returning home, returning spiritual home. Any Taoist priest knows the goal for their cultivation in this planet journey is to find a way to cultivating the spirit, the body, the mind, united body and spirit. Return to the what the gaining ability and return to immortal world, so they can live as long as heaven and earth. And so, in the translation, say,、uh, is like a veil, 
V-E-I-L. This is like a veil, very seen. Use it, it's never fell. A gateway is like a well, very seen. Alright? So very seen. When you see it, you don't see it. When you know it, you might not know it. You do it, you may not do it. Right? It's like real, it's not like real. It's like reality, it's like beyond reality. Like logic and illogical. And this gateway, where is it? And this chapter number six, it's a fall of love. Uh, chapter six is affection of the Tao, affection of the human being. i uh, tell you a gateway. A uh, gateway is really referred to Dan Tian, the energy center of the human body. And this energy center not only serves as a source of life, the source that pre providing all the energy to all your organs, all your functionality, biologically, emotionally, spiritually, all root on this mm -hmm. dantip. When we were born, before you're born, a belly core connected to pre-heaven, to the mother's resource. And this resource energy, the infusing you so that your organs start manifest, grow, and get stronger. Right? That's where the, uh, the pre-heaven chi coming from the belly cord and then infuse and make you grow and then your organs form, then your body form, then nine months, ten months, and you're born. Okay? That is source. As soon as you burst, belly cord is what? Cut, pre-heaven what? Missing. Now you have to base on the uh, post-heaven. Now you have to base on your air breathing, the food drinking and eating. Uh, this is the post heaven. Post heaven supply and post heaven supply energy is not a true gateway anymore. True post heaven supply only give you ability to live. Uh, to live. Okay? To live func and function. It did not give you a great ability if you don't know it how to return to immortal world. To the world. So, in this chapter say, it is like a well, very seen, use it and never fail. It's teaching us, return the sense what? Inward, return our spirits to get in touch with our gateway. Uh, return our spirits to connect with body, to connect with body. Uh, United all the accents of your body. Uniting all your organ together uh, to find the root, reconnect the root. Uh, reconnect the root not only post heaven but also uh, pre heaven. Connecting the root with pre heaven energy. Um, pre heaven energy. So it's also a double meaning inside. There is a sentence say, Her gateway is the root of heaven and earth. Human body has more than 36 gateway. It's like a 36 portal. This invisible portal, every day does a job. It's called intaking and outgoing. You have your uh, 36 gateway. They in singularize with heaven 36 frequency, the earth 36 frequency, and the uh, present frequency, past, future, and the and, uh, Future, past, future, and present. 36 frequency each. How they what? Communicate through uh, all the 36 all connected with this gateway. Dan Tian. Okay? So Dan Tian, if your Dan Tian only has a 5 ounces energy pre-born, prior to your born, and a 5 ounces energy every day has what? Intake, intaking or outgoing energy, intake and outgoing through heaven and earth, through the future and the past, through your ancestors energy and immortal energy. Right? Immortal energy in heaven, ancestor energy on the world of the yin. The world of the yang, the world of the yin, and the world of yin and yang today, we in. In the 36 frequency, all is in the Communications every single second. 
every day. So is incoming and outgoing. This is the gateway. Is the root of heaven and earth. Heaven and earth is this. We is this. Heaven and earth crash. We crash. It's philosophical speaking. Our heavens, the spirits, our earth, the physical body. If heaven and earth crash, of course, everybody go bye bye. Okay. So the root of heaven and earth, Dantian, is the root of your spirits. Dantian also the root of your physical body. Okay. And this root is like a gas tank. Right. One gas tank has thirty six of channel hour to communicate with all this energy that is simultaneously. Okay, connection. And so through our human's life, after our birth, on the first three years, our energy extremely energetic, powerful, consolidating, concentrating, it's all in the centrifugal co collecting force. After the three years old, it's totally opposite. And it's that one, outgoing, outpouring of our energy. So your your energy is continuously going out with by what? By unlimited desire, ambitious emotions, disease, uh, disease, all the news above is drawing your energy outgoing. It's called unlimited outgoing and very limited incoming. Okay? We're coming very little and we go out of what? A lot. Sooner or later, five ounces chi getting what? Less and less. When it comes down to the certain degree, for example, one to ten, five is alarm. Okay? So until our energy gets to the five, it our physical health shows a sign of sickness, aging. Uh, when it goes down really bottom line, then the death will occur. This is how the what? The human energetically uh, energy science. Uh, that's what I call the energy metaphysical science. Is well, how would, how we live, how we die, how we live better, how can we slow the aging and die later and later. Right? That is what the Taoism's preaching. Through this chapter, we can see how to connect and find in our gateway. Reconnect our gateway again. So where is our gateway? Focus on the what? Focus on the Dan Tian. To what? To connect, to pulling, intaking energy, rather than outgoing and spending energy. It's very simple to speak. And uh, this chapter say, is like a veil, veil very seen. Okay, very seen. Yet, when the human has such a strong, ambitious ego, desire, pursuing life with what? Prosperity, with the statue, with what? Financial ability, with the power that we want to gain. With what? Persecution and we want to feel importance. That all the human does is pursuing all the material gain in our life. And this is not your purpose. At least in my religion and my culture saying, our culture or belief, in Taoism culture belief, the our humanity journey is through understanding the humanity Tao, cultivating human material life and breakthrough into spiritual life. Eventually we understand our goal in this planet is not to stay here, reincarnation after reincarnation after reincarnation. Our goal is here is to break through, find a way, return to immortal home. Uh, that is your goal. When you truly understand your goal is finding the way, stop reincarnation, return to home, then material design, material gain and loss, okay, and that become what? Meaningless. Become meaningless. And all we want to do is cultivating our chi, cultivating our spirits, united chi. 
and spirits together, okay, reformulating our energy, upgrade our quantity and quality of our chi, then eventually push our spirits, regain the strength, and then able uh, to ascend into heaven. So if that is your goal, then we learn to detach is not a condition anymore. Detach the attachment of material world. It becomes a less concern. It becomes quite easy to do. When we function in material, we function the optimum level of virtue, optimum level of, of uh, the enthusiasm in life and acquire the prosperity on my standard. Right? And then what? When we turn around and we're cultivating our uh, a spirit, when we're cultivating our spirit, we're able to sit down in a noisy market and meditate. Go to the what? Uh, the mountain, cold mountain, able to feel very hot and warm. Okay? We don't uh, need a lot, we need simplicity. Okay? Cultivating uh, the Tao, cultivating our stillness and our immortality is basically learn to desire less, detach from material desire, cultivating our sun and chi, follow our human nature to return to the stillness. Stillness versus motion. Our life every day is in a very emotional, uh, emotional, um, physical emotion, emotional motion, and our uh, spiritual motion. Right? And sickness is also emotion. Our ego, our ambitious, all it's in emotion. So yeah, we're human, we are in emotion. Can we learn to uh, cultivate the emotion become what? Uh, the relatively motions and relative motion become uh, relatively tranquility. Tranquility, relative tranquility it become a void. Void will become what? Uh, stillness. Uh, by what? By decrease our attachment to desire, to our ego, to our ambitious, by a few notch down. Okay? When you are from the heaven come down to the earth, you're down to earth, you realize what? Then things, material thing attachment become less and less the concern. Okay? So when we can turn to the still, Here's the magic will happen. The magic happen is when your motion relatively still, outgoing become limited. The thirty six portal that connect to your Dantian, thirty six of them, and they all what start the limited outflow. Okay, become less outflow, and when you're more still, an organ doesn't doesn't draw energy. External doesn't draw energy. Then what? Relatively speaking, the incoming become what? More. In taking energy from external world start eh? more coming, incoming. When the more incoming, more than the what? Outgoing, eventually Dantian Chi become what? Getting stronger in quantity. Right? In quantity. Well, in quantity increase already, still need to be refined, it, right? Refine it, refine still, still uh, using stillness. When you seek still, when your mind turns to still, your spirit is not an outgoing, now return to simplicity, incoming. Just when the spirit is more incoming, spirit is able to descending down to the earth and then reconnect with the root. Uh, it's the root of heaven and earth, remember? We reestablish the root. When we reestablish the root by united spirits and Dantian Qi together. Wow, that it will be a magic because when they start connected, Dantian Qi start to grow, refine it quantity into the quality. Eh? When the quality increases, Dantian become extreme uh, Purify, purify it. When you very purify, high accents of energies that in, in, increase. Dantian has a power to unite it 
all the people in the kingdom. In other words, Dante and Qi become center pole. They are able to pull all of your organ, okay, all of your cell, all of your gene, all of your blood, all of your calcium, okay, all those energies centrifugally gathering, collecting into Dantian is like a strong leader in the whole kingdom. Everybody what gathering around the king, understand? When Dantian become a strong leader, everything inside your kingdom, in this physical body kingdom, will gathering around Dantian. When this happens, we are not going to be aging. We are going to be returned from aging, rejuvenating. All can become stronger because now the Dantian is like a nuclear power. And now it, what? it can feed up, can feed every organ, Stronger, Dantian Qi can start attacking the virus in your body and filter out your virus. Dantian Qi can what? Uh, and purify your blood. Dantian Qi can reverse your cell and your gene that is outgoing poor by the word nature. We live in this solar Milky Way, you know that, right? Yes. Solar Milky Way, the sun unlimitedly holding you clockwise, holding your energy. Every single day, your cell, your gene is outgoing, pulling, pulling our. When you're pulling our, our organ is going out. That's why we have aura. Aura energy what? It's going our. It going out one day to one year to ten years to hundred years to a thousand years. Our spirit is continuously what? Outpouring. Do you understand? When the reverse happens, when Dan Tian Ji become what? Strong. From a thousand year, Pope a hundred year, to ten year, to one year, one week, one day. It reverse our aging. The cell regenerated, regen uh, regenerated, okay? And what? The cell start rejuvenated, and then you start to see our functionality become better, physical signs start changing, Eyesight become what? Brighter again, okay? Your skin become more softer again. Organs function more optimum again. Is that cool? Very cool, Alien. You gotta know it. Okay? <laughs> uh, meditation is an amazing what? Functionality. Once you understand what Lao Tzu is telling you, okay? The spirits of accents never die. For past 5,000 to 500,000 years, your spirits never die. Your ancestor spirits, your, your ancestor spirits, the immortal. Your today still are immortal. The spirits never, 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 never die. It's what? It's a prime gathering energy. It's a prime gateway. And this gateway, it is the root of heaven and earth past and future, immortal or ancestor spirit. It all need to be gathering toward our Dantian. When you sit meditation in the middle, middle earth, okay, your 36 polo illuminating energy to a heaven connect with what? All the immortal energy. And your 36 gateway, same thing, descending Go through the polo, also connect with all your ancestor spirit, energy. And you can you imagine you're sitting there, 36 polo, connect to one Dantian, and then we're connecting up, connecting down, past and future, heaven and earth. Connecting them. So, and then you're now you get to ask yourself, outgoing or incoming? Right? The only way outgoing is continue remain in motion. Right? The only way the incoming remain on the what? Stillness. Does it make sense? So, if you can see this picture that I just illuminated for you, then you understand. To return to simplicity is no question, no condition. You need to do that. You need to turn your what? Body, mind and spirit to the stillness.
to the stillness. You need to, to letting allow your allow yourself to detach from all the material attachment to learn how to function uh, in the very optimum level by cultivating our virtue in this journey. Uh, virtue is only three things you need to do. It's called kindness, mercy, and forgiveness. Okay? Once we can post cultivating this three quality of Taoist treasure, we are able to tune down our emotion intensity. Okay? Our emotion intensity becomes lesser and lesser, and then the simplicity will be established. When the simplicity become, become it, your stillness will be able to acquire. Okay? When the stillness is acquired, Dantian Qi to got more intaking and it will start growing. If as soon as you're growing, your ability at the least to live very healthy and longevity. That's the least achievement. Healthy longevity. And then when you have that ability, then joy and happiness is no question. Everybody can achieve happiness and joy. Uh, throughout the world, for so many thousand years, everybody talk about joy and happy. Okay, joy and happy. So what is true happy and joy? Happy and joy, you have to give in the ability to feel it, to experience it. Everybody talked talk about stillness, and everybody got to know stillness does has ability to acquire. When your body very sick with disease, and when you don't feel good on emotionally, Okay? And you are not able to find that stillness, the quality of stillness. You might be periodically feel the what? Peace. Periodically feel the joy. But that is not a true quality of joy. True quality joy, in my speaking, is when your Dantian is form. Okay? At the minimum, healthy longevity. Okay? And minimum up, you become what? Immortal on earth, live for 400 years. The true joyness eh, is ascending into the what? heaven, return home. That is true happiness and joy. This is what every religion talks about, right? Going to heaven. Got it? And we know exactly how it's supposed to happen. So, all the audience and, you know, and the people on the website, you got to understand uh, the importance of cultivating this stillness. Okay, so today I'm preaching of cultivating the stillness by tune down your desire, return to simplicity, uh, start tune down from your emotion into the stillness. Follow the nature, follow nature to detach from all the material desire, material attachment, turn more sense and spirits into your Dantian, refine your Dantian, reconnect spirits and body that are able uh, to communicate between heaven and earth. Let Dantian become a true gateway for immortality. Let your Dantian become a true gateway for longevity, for happiness, for joys. And may Thou bless you all. I hope you you acquire immortality. Thank you.